All right. We're up. Everybody quiet, please. Now, uh, what I tried to explain to you yesterday was is that imagine, imagine this is not algebra, and this is just a regular question, okay? If it's a square base, that means the length and the width have to be the same. Would you agree with that? It's because it's a square base. If I said the height was 10, as an example, to get the volume of a box, Jack, to get the volume of a box, we multiply the length by the width by the height. Very easy. And what happens is you multiply 5 by 5 gives you 25 is the area of the base. Okay. Now, where was I? Okay. Uh, see the way the base is 25? This means the area is 25. And if we multiply the area by the height, what do we get? So 25 by 10? 250. That means the volume is 250. Everybody cool with that? Now, if I didn't tell you that this was 5, imagine I didn't tell you that was 5. Okay? And the only thing I told you was is that the volume is 250 and the height is 10. Everybody got that? The volume is 250 and the height is 10. Yeah? Here's what you do now. What's 250 divided by 10? You know the base is 25, but you also know that the length and the width have to be there. Same. So it's 5 and 5. Essentially, divide the volume by the height and you get the area of the base. Does that make sense? Has anyone got any questions about that? No. Okay, now here's what we're going to do. This, uh, this, this question is in the long division chapter, so it's safe to say we're going to do long division to solve it. Is everybody cool with that? So most of you have probably got this part out. The 2x cubed plus the 5x squared minus the 4x minus the 12. And we got, was it 2x minus 3 over here? All right, how many times does it go in? 2x into 2x cubed. Multiply next, and what you get? Cubed, yeah. Okay, subtract, change the science. What you get? Yeah. Correct. Now what you do now? Yeah. 4x, you multiply, and you get? Yeah. Take away. What do we do now? And what do, we, yeah, what you get? Ax minus 12. Okay, uh, Ax divided by 2x plus 4. Okay, and what do we say now? That that's Ax minus 12, and that's going to be minus and plus, and it's going to zero. Now, what we're essentially saying is that the area of the base, everybody see the base? That is x squared plus 4x plus 4. Everybody cool with that? It's, it's like the 25 from earlier. Okay? We divided the volume by the height. That gives us the area of the base. Now, it asks us to find the length of the side. So we're going to have a look at this, and we're going to factorize it. And I wonder, is it, I wonder if we can turn it into the same bracket twice. Let's find out. Okay, two numbers to add to give me four, uh, multiply to give me four, but add to give me four. Two and two. So essentially what this means is that the length and the width are both x plus two, because you multiply the area, the, the length by the width to get the area, okay? Remember we said earlier the 25 breaks up into the five and the five, that's the same thing. Explain why x always has to be bigger than 3 over 2. Here it is. Are you allowed to have negative height? Is the height allowed to be smaller than 0? I'm oh, sorry. Ha, sorry, height has to be bigger than 0. So this means 2x minus 3 has to be bigger than 0. 2x has to be bigger than 3. x has to be bigger than 3 over 2. Any questions?